Hague Strikes Near Arras New York Times, April 10, 1917 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Hague Strikes Near Arras New York Times April 10, 1917 Hague Strikes Near Arras English and Canadians Break Through Lines on Twelve Mile Front Seize Famous Bimmy Ridge Villages and Fortified Points Captured to Depth of Two to Three Miles Tanks Lead the Advance British also push forward towards Cambria and north of St. Quentin. London, April 9th. The British troops launched a terrific offensive today on a 12-mile front north and south of Arras, penetrating the German positions to a depth of from two to three miles. Many important fortified points were captured, including the famous Vimy Ridge. Nearly 6,000 prisoners, mostly Bavarians, Württembergers and Hamburgers have been taken so far, and they continue to pour into the receiving stations. Large numbers of guns, trench mortars, and other war material have been captured. The advance continues, the British having blasted their way clear through the German front and rearward positions. The line of advance extends from Givenchy and Gouel, southwest of Lens, to the village of Lenin on the Ojol River southeast of arras the attack began at five thirty this morning after a terrible night of artillery fire for the last week the british guns have been bombarding the german lines in this sector without cessation but last night's bombardment outdid even the terrific bombardments that preceded the somme offensive last year the honour of capturing vimy ridge where the french lost thousands of men last year in an attempt to hold this dominating height fell to the Canadians. This ridge protects the French coal fields lying to the eastward. Once before the British gained the crest of this ridge, but under a tremendous concentration of German guns they were compelled to give it up. All winter long Canadians have held a footing on the ridge, with the German lines looking down on them. All the fighting today was against dominating positions on high ground some of which have been held by the germans for two years and were lavishly hemmed with wide belts of some of the toughest and longest pronged barbed wire which has been seen in the war along the greater part of the front says reuter's correspondent at the front the advance of the infantry was strenuously opposed near arras the germans offered determined resistance and a large pocket of the germans was reported to be still holding out at midday although entirely surrounded. The famous Redou, named the Harp, only a little less formidable than the noted Labyrinth, was captured with virtually the whole battalion defending it. Several tanks were seen climbing Telegraph Hill, which commands the Harp, and probably had much to do with the surrender of this position. Here three German battalion commanders were captured. Along the railway running through to the valley of the Scarp, the British made good progress, while upon the lens branch of the line they captured Mason Blanche Wood. Battle begins at daybreak. The early British report, which is timed 11.25 a.m., is as follows. We attacked at 5.30 o'clock this morning on a wide front south of Arras, to the south of Lens. Our troops have everywhere penetrated the enemy's lines and are making satisfactory progress at all points. In the direction of Cambro, we stormed the village of Hermes and Brussels, and have penetrated into Havincourt Wood. In the direction of St. Quentin, we captured fresnoy le petit and advanced our line southwest of Le Verguier. No estimate of the prisoners taken can yet be given, but considerable numbers are reported captured. The text of the statement issued this evening reads, the operations continue to be carried out successfully in accordance with the plan. Our troops have everywhere stormed the enemy defences from henning sur cudjul to the southern outskirts of Givenchy on Goul, to a depth of from two to three miles, and our advance continues. The enemy's forward defences on this front, 
including Vimy Ridge, which was carried by the Canadian troops, were captured early in the morning. These defences comprised a network of trenches and fortified localities, Nouvelle, Valtese, Telegraph Hill, Teloy les Mouflaines, Observation Ridge, St. Laurent Blanger, Les Tours, and La Foy Farm. Subsequently, our troops moved forward and captured the enemy's rearward defences, including, in addition to other powerful trench systems, the fortified localities of Fuchy, Chapelle de Fuchy, Heiserbad, Rideau, Athes, and Thales. Up to 2 p.m., 5,816 prisoners, including 119 officers, passed through the stations, and many more remained to be counted. Of these, a large number belong to the Bavarian divisions, who have suffered heavy casualties in today's fighting. The captured war material includes guns and a number of trench mortars and machine guns, which have not yet been counted. In the direction of Cambrai, further progress has been made in the neighborhood of Havencourt Wood. We have captured the village of Demicourt. In the direction of St. Quentin, we captured the villages of Pontru and Le Vergier. The aerial activity of the past few days has continued with great energy. Several successful bombing raids were carried out by us, our machines cooperating with our artillery, with excellent results. Two hostile machines were destroyed, and fifteen others were driven down and probably crashed. Two German kite balloons were brought down in flames. Ten of our airplanes are missing. An associated press correspondent at the front says, after a beautiful and warm Easter Sunday, the weather changed last night, and today's attack was carried on in a pelting rain driven before a gale in which was the sting of January cold. The airplanes, which have accomplished wonderful work since Thursday's clearing the air of German machines, were robbed of the opportunity to participate in the beginning of the offensive. Several intrepid British airmen ascended, but on account of the rain and low-lying clouds, they could do little or nothing, and after being tossed about severely, they descended. Today's attack also hit the northern hinge of the recent German retreat, from Arras to Assin. The Germans evidently had expected a renewal of the offensive in the valley of the Somme, for in making the retreat in that sector, they announced that they had completely disarranged the British offensive plans. Today's blow was Britain's answer. The British also gained considerable ground at other points on the line. On the road to Cambrai, they captured by storm the Brousses, Demicor, and Hermes. Brousses is seven and a half miles southwest of Cambrai. The British also made progress in the Havincourt Wood, south of the Bopem Cambrai Railway. Further to the south, in the neighborhood of St. Quentin, General Hagg's troops captured the villages of Fresnoy. Pontru and Le Vernier, thus pushing forward their lines to within two miles of the St. Quentin Canal. End of Hag Strikes Near Arras by the New York Times, April 10, 1917